Hello, scoundrels. Welcome back to the Scoundrels Den. Hope you're doing well. Uh, thanks to G2A for sponsoring the channel. There is a reference link in the description below. So for those of you that are Eve Echo subscribers, uh, you may have seen me do a community post that I've been struggling to know what to do in Eve Echoes. And obviously with Wild Rift coming out and me having access to Wild Rift, I've been pretty excited about that. Um, I am still, as I said in one of the comments, likely going to be doing at least one Eve Echoes video a week. I'm going to try and make it something interesting, uh, something that you guys can learn from. But if you want regular, consistent Eve Echoes content, there are people like Geeka Forte, people like Captain Benzie, and lots of other great Eve Echoes YouTubers that will be covering things um, more regularly on their channels. It's very likely that what I'll, I'll be doing is either money-making stuff, um, big ship updates, doing some comparisons between Tick 8 ships when that, when that all hits, and probably keeping you up to date with how political landscapes look in Eve Echoes as well. Uh, but for the most part, uh, I'm going to be doing Wild Rift on the, the, the channel, and I'll be doing Eve Echoes content one to two videos a week, but likely trying to stay towards one, because if I don't hit two, then I'll be sad with myself. Um... But yeah, the, the reason is why I, I just I just didn't really know what to make. I was I was kind of like covered loads of stuff when Eve Echoes came out, and then once Eve Echoes kind of got to the point where you're doing the same thing over and over again, which quite a lot of you are, and that's okay for some people, and it's okay for me because I I do the same thing every day on Eve Echoes. Um, but it's difficult to rehash content over and over again, and I didn't want to just be putting out really bad videos. Um, but what I thought about is that actually I'm creating a second YouTube channel. I've wanted to do this for over a year. Uh, but the American election kind of sparked me to do it. For those of you that don't follow me on Twitter, um, and probably a good job that you don't, uh, you'll know that I'm rather politically minded, and I'm, I, I like to talk a lot about politics. I like to talk about current world events and current world affairs. Um, I've had some really good conversations with people who don't agree with me politically, and for context, I am a center-left-ish. Um, I would say I'm a... I would say my political views probably closely align with what the Tony Blair Labour Party in the UK uh, was like in sort of the the early two thousands. Um, so obviously with the with the election in the US, I was quite vocal on Twitter about some of the things. I poked a bit of fun at Trump, obviously, but I also had some really good discussions with conservatives about um, political issues, and and, and I, I that's what I prefer to have. I don't like to. I don't like to belittle and flame people who don't agree with me politically. I like to, to talk about it, and I'm not intending on changes, changing anyone's mind, and I doubt, I doubt they would change my mind, but it's in, it's like very interesting just to have those discussions and talk about how people see the world in different lights. Um, and that's kind of what I want my new YouTube channel to be about, just me having a space to talk about things politically without inflaming anyone, um, without getting into a, a discussion where we either have to say, you're a stupid lib, or you're an idiot conservative, you know, like, I, d I don't want to have those discussions. That's not that's not what I'm about. So that's kind of what I want my, what my second YouTube channel to be about. And I thought actually, it'd be the perfect place to just play some chill Eve echoes and talk about politics. So if that's what you're into, uh, I'm probably going to be making a second YouTube channel for playing Eve, but I won't be doing too much educational Eve, Eve content over there. I'll probably just be playing Eve as like a background to just talking about stuff. Um, and probably talk a little bit about what I'm doing in Eve, of course, as well. But today, yes, there was three minutes of just absolute blabber at the start. What are we talking about today? Well, I want to show you guys something, because this is something that I've kind of not talked about for a while, because it's been my way of making money. Um, but I funded a lot of my ships through this monetary making method. And you can see I'm at 852 million, but I've been over 2 billion at some point. Um, I've mostly been using this account to make money to fund my, my ships. So how is it that I'm making money and I'm never leaving Jitter? Because I, I never leave Jitter. I, I, I sit on this character in Jitter and I, and I, and I never leave. Um, well, first of all, let's talk about the skills necessary. And it'll probably give you a little bit of an indication. There are only two skills or maybe three skills that you need to worry about when you're doing this. Trade, accounting, and you can see I'm almost at expert five accounting. And then all the way to the bottom, scrap metal reprocessing. And I'm currently training expert level five, scrap metal reprocessing. What does this do? Well, let's see if I've actually bought any uh, any items. I have. So you can see here, I'm, I'm purchasing things. Things are being purchased right now. Uh, and right now I'm purchasing Mark 7 uh, medium rapid missile launchers. So I'm just going to select all and reprocess. Boom. Filter, material. You'll notice that I'm getting loads of materials here. Um, and this is just from a, a little round of uh, reprocessing, reprocessing that I did this morning. Essentially, what I do is I flip modules on the market. So I'll give you an example of what I'm doing right now. 
I haven't set up many because I've only just logged on. But right now, I'm buying Mark 7 medium rapid missile launchers at 119,000, which is a relatively high amount of money. But if I can just briefly switch over and show you this, uh, this spreadsheet. This is a spreadsheet that I put together myself, okay? And, and I'm... I'm not actually going to link this because it's something that I'm using um, for me. Uh, but the data is out there if you want to go and make it. The reason I'm not going to link this is because if I link this, everybody would start doing this very easily and I would never make any money. Sorry, guys. But I'm showing you how to make it if you want to. What I've got is exactly like my ore spreadsheet. I have linked... Um, the value of the minerals to the Eve Echoes Market Data website. Okay, so I've linked the value of the the, the the minerals to the Eve Echoes Market Data website, and it's going to automatically update the value of those min minerals that you get from reprocessing stuff in uh, Eve Echoes. Then what I've got is your I have my um, reprocessing efficiency, which is fifty eight point eight percent, and my sales tax combined, which is sixteen point two percent. So you you input your data there, and then it gets me a multiplier. Here and here, which you don't, which I don't touch. I just got to remind myself not to touch. And then I have a full list, and you can find this list online of all of the um, modules in the game and what they currently reprocess in terms of minerals. So how many minerals you get out of reprocessing those modules? So let's take the Mark Seven Medium Rapid Missile Launcher as a initial. Um, as an initial uh, example, Mark 7 medium rapid missile launcher is going to give me 7,500 titanium, 1,800, uh, I, I don't even remember what was second, 1,800 pyrite. Uh, it's going to give you 622 mexalan. It's going to give you 110 isogen. It's going to give you 11 noxium. So uh, you're going to get 11 noxium out of this. And obviously, the more that you reprocess, the more you get. If I were to sell all of those at the value that the Eve Echoes market data is showing me, I would be able to sell them at 155,000. So therefore, buying a rapid, medium rapid missile launch at 120,000, you're going to make on average 30,000 or so ISK per reprocessed um, module. So then if I buy 200, you know, I'm making uh, 600,000. If you buy 400, you're making 1.2 million, etc. And you just do this for a large spread of modules. Now, I use this particular spreadsheet to essentially isolate and search for particular um, modules that are going to sell for their minerals far more than what they're being sold for on the market or far more for what I can buy them for on the market. Because if we go back over to the market, and I'll show you particularly with um, Mark 7 Rapid Missile Launchers, so if we go into the missile launchers, you'll probably scroll down to Mark 7 rapid medium missile launchers and say, but they're selling for 150,000. Like I can't I can't buy that and make much more of a profit than than that. But actually, if you go to the buy orders, um you'll see that my buy order is 119,000. It's a little bit higher. Obviously, people generally tend to outbid each other by one, but I found that my reprocessing skill is so high that I can generally tend to just try and bully out the competition by putting it really high if I wanted to. You know, so I I can pro I can make more of a margin on my medium uh rapid missile launchers because of my reprocessing skill compared to some people that couldn't. So I can t I can bully people out a little bit more effectively with the the position that I hold on the on the buy orders. Um, so you you'll notice that I am I am actually buying them at one hundred nineteen thousand. That is because people will come with their medium. These aren't these aren't in particular high in particularly high demand for I would say for ships because most people will try and go for storyline or better right. So. They'll come and see, okay, well, it's, a, it's like a 20k, 30k difference. I could sell them now immediately for 119, or I could float them at like 140 and see if they and see if they sell. But maybe I just want the cash immediately, and they'll sell to me at 119, and that's where it's going to come in, in useful for me. Um, I'll, I'll do another example. Uh, one, of the, one of the more popular ones is the Mark V Stasis Webifier, currently uh, being bought at Jitter for 69,970. Well, if I switch back over to our spreadsheet let's have a look here mark 5 stasis webifier with all of the minerals i can sell them for 92000 so that's about a 30000 or 20000 um uh, gap so what's let's just say okay cool let's outbid to 70000 let's buy 200 of them um bam 
and then I'm going to have two buy orders now, and I'm just going to wait for those to, to slowly go down. You can see I'm still buying. Uh, oh, wait a second. I didn't even show you that. So I did uh, I did 70,000 uh, MK5 Stasis Weber Fires at 200, and I am still buying uh, medium rapid missile launchers. So you notice that was 166 before, it's now 160. So I'm, you know, I'm slowly filtering through. And what you do is you put a spread, you put a big spread of modules out, uh, and then you collect those and you reprocess. The one thing that you need to be careful of is you need to be pretty confident with the quantity that you put in. Because let's say, okay, we just bought a Stasis Weber Fire. Let's say that you uh, buy a quantity of 400, but then you get outbid immediately. So someone is very quick to outbid you in your in your uh, in your buy order. You can either wait wait for that person to buy up the market and then it, it filter back down to your price, or you can cancel your order and outbid them again. But do remember that you're going to pay a broker's fee on the buy order. So the, you, you're going to pay a broker's fee on the buy order and you're not going to get that money back. So you, it's all about risk calculation. I usually outbid by a significant amount put the value pretty high and then leave it because most people won't push to the levels that I'm willing to push to because I have the expert reprocessing skills. So yeah, what I'll, what I'll do over the course of a day is put a load of module um, buy orders out. I'll come back a few hours later, I'll reprocess and then I'll sell. And I think I'll just show you very quickly. I'm going to quickly reprocess what I have. Got a little bit more to reprocess, but not a lot. Materials, select all, stack all, Cool. Tritanium. View market details. What is it selling for right now? Two. But if we have a look here, three. It's very likely that at this station it's going to sell at three. So I'm going to go boom, three, sell. And I'll leave that in jitter at three and eventually someone will buy it. And it'll be the same for Noxium. Okay, let's have a look at what Noxium. Noxium has dropped in price pretty significantly. I reckon it'll go back up in the once tech tech eight hits. But so at station... Someone is selling Noxium at 1,600 at station, but there's only 434 left. So the next best at station is 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 1,800. I could sell at 1,790 if I want to do, but I'm going to hold on to my Noxium because I do think the, the money's going to go up. I think Megasite and Zeradine are quite clearly going to be in pretty high demand. Let's have a look at Pyrite. Uh, I think Pyrite's selling at about 23 at the station right now, but we'll have a look. Scroll down, 23. I'd say most of it's sitting at 23. I could probably pretty comfortably sell at 23-esque. I think this will likely fill a buy order. There'll probably be someone filling a buy order. Yeah, there you go. My pyrite sold at a buy order, but do you know what? For the sake of 24 versus 23 or 25 versus 23 with the amount that I had, I'm not going to I'm not gonna fuss about it. So yeah, you'll notice that then I go to my orders and I have my sell orders and my buy orders that are going all of my pyrite sold. Um, and yeah. Essentially, I make up the difference that I spent over the time by selling the minerals, and I should end up with something like 950 million once I'm sort of all said and done with this uh, with this round of buying and selling. And that's how I make my money in Eve Echoes. Um, I hope that was useful. As I said, I am not going to link my spreadsheet because it's something that I use personally, and if I linked my spreadsheet, I would end up not making money and this is how I make my money however the data is out there if you want to go and make your own spreadsheets uh, I recommend searching module reprocessing values um, you can find the data on, on the echoes reddit and you can make your own spreadsheets very easily um, I know that's a bit of a, a, a bit of a, a horrible thing to do to you guys but uh, I also like to make my money <laughs> and so I thought I'd tell you about it but maybe not share the the resource that I'm using specifically and I hope that's okay just because I put a lot of work into it and I'm trying to score. I want to make as much money out of it as I can and then if I end up going on to something else I'll I'll give you the resource but uh, anyway I hope you have a, a lovely day and I'll see you soon